Hi students, let's study 9th standard ICSE English Literature Story 3 Model Millionaire by Oscar Wilde It's an interesting story with a twist in the tale which reminds me of O. Henry. The story starts off with some philosophy by the narrator that romance is for rich people. Poor people can't afford it. They should be more pragmatic, more practical. Because romantic relationships require investment of time, energy and money, which poor people may not be able to afford. So, the protagonist of the story, Huey Erskine, he is a handsome fellow. He has beautiful hair, a good profile, but he's poor. He doesn't have a profession. He did not get much from his uh, parents, some sword and some books, no wealth at all. He tried his hand at various professions like stock exchange, but he realized that that is for the bears and the bulls and he was merely a butterfly, a small player. Then he tried his hand at being a tea merchant, but that did not work out for him. Finally, he tried to sell dry sherry, that is a type of wine, but even that was a flop show. So ultimately, he was unemployed and he would get like 200 pounds a year from his grandmother. He had a girlfriend whose name was Laura Martin. But her dad did not want them to get married. Obviously, because he had no money and he was unemployed. He liked Huey, his personality. But you can't feed somebody with personality. So the colonel told him that the day you get 10,000 pounds of your own money, at that time I'll give you permission to marry my daughter. Now, Laura seems to be silly. Why is she asking for the colonel's permission? So one day, Huey went to a studio where his friend, Alan Trevor, was painting something. Yes, that brush. He was an artist, just like me. No, no, it's not a broom. So he was uh, painting a model, a beggar man. The beggar man had rich features, wrinkles, old hair, tattered clothes, a stick. It was a very interesting subject to paint. So Alan Trevor was very engrossed in it. He spoke with Alan about how much a model makes by just posing for the artwork. And Alan said that a model might get a shilling an hour. Shilling is a small unit of currency. Shilling is around 1 20th of a pound. When Alan took a break for some work, Huey approached the beggar. He checked his pockets for the change he had and he removed the largest coin he had, which was a sovereign. That is one pound. And he gave it to the beggar. Now, this seems to be a, a small deed, but understand that he had no money and yet he was compassionate enough to give the beggar a pound. That says a lot about his character. But when you don't have much and yet you are kind towards others and yet you are generous, that is the pinnacle of humanity. Now, when the model beggar saw the coin, he found it very amusing and he, he took it. When Huey informed his girlfriend about it, she scolded him, obviously, because he just gave away a pound to a stranger. Later, when he met Alan, he inquired if he could find out more about the beggar. Because Huey wanted to help the beggar even more. He had some old clothes. He was wondering if he could give the old clothes to the beggar. Alan found all this very funny. In fact, he informed Huey that the beggar was very impressed with him and had inquired about him. He inquired about where he stays, what was his profession, what is his future prospects. So he gave him all the information. Alan even told the beggar about Huey's girlfriend, the fact that he cannot marry till he gets 10,000 pounds. So Huey was quite taken aback. He was upset that his privacy was broken by Alan. Then Alan revealed to him that that beggar was actually Baron Hosberg one of the richest people in all of Europe. He was so rich that he could buy London instantly. He was so rich that he could stop Russia from continuing the war. Huey was shocked. And he, when he told Alan that he had given a pound to the beggar, Alan could not control his laughter. Huey felt embarrassed and he was disappointed because he had literally wasted a pound of money on a person who did not need it. He went home dismayed. The next day, Baron Hosberg sent Monsieur Gustave Nordin with a letter. Huey expected that 
the baron wanted an apology for him for insulting him by giving him a pound but with the letter there was a check of 10000 pounds so now finally huey could fulfill his dream he married the love of his life in fact the baron made a speech at the wedding and alan was the best man at the wedding and alan remarked that millionaire models are very rare millionaires who who pose and become model for artwork they are very rare but model millionaires are even rarer model means ideal the best and baron hosberg was a model millionaire that's how millionaires should be they should have compassion for others when they see somebody who deserves some support financial support or otherwise they should do it so you see a good deed deserves another when huey helped the beggar he did not expect any returns and that is why he was rewarded similarly we should also help as much as we can to the ones in need without expecting in any returns and sooner or later positive things will happen in our lives hi students this is aj sir if you like this video press the like button if you would like to enroll for my online test series or online lectures email me or message me on instagram check the description for more information